Alright, hello once again everyone. Back with another Monsters of Etheria video. This time around there are three new Ethereans that have been re-added to the game. Which is Eidolon. Let me scroll down for a second. Rabini and Wanderwood. I'm going to go by difficulty first. Just to get them out of the way. So we will start off with the quickest and the easiest one, which would be Boxling. I mean, not by which would be Rabini, where you can spawn in as Boxling or whatever other Ethereum that you have that spawns in the city. And you want to go to the Blue House, not the training ground, but the Blue House right there next to the training ground. AKA the house that has Autumn here. There will be a giant hat, and what you do is you jump into this hat and you will be teleported to some random dimension, not dimension, but location. And basically you just have to do that three times. And then you get Rabini, it's as simple as that. So basically I would recommend just hopping it, spawning in as an Ethereum like Boxling, going, hopping into the hat, resetting respawning going to the hat again and after you get in the hat for the third time you will get rabini moving on quickly to eidolon's unlock which is also relatively fairly whatever easy and i will spawn in as it is well because of the location now i'm not actually sure if these things spawn in the daytime never mind they do you want to grab one of these which is i guess it's like Aralon's lure or trap or something because that's what the unlock requirement says is you need to run into one of those either way you run into one of those and then you will get eidolon as well as a wisp of life essence which you are going to need in order to get wanderwood by crafting I don't remember what I had to craft, unless I have it. The Enchanted Lumber. Yeah, that's how you get Eidolon. You just run into one of the... It basically just looks like, if I could find it... It's not there. It basically just looks like an Entropy Orb, except it's not. So you just want to run into one of those. And you should get Eidolon. I don't know if it's a random chance because I got it on the first one that I touched, so yeah. But moving on now to Wanderwood. Now for Wanderwood, what you are going to need is five soul fragments and five wisps of life essence. So I think most people know how to get the soul fragments now. You basically just, it has to be nighttime, so keep that in mind. But when it's nighttime, random uh, Elatoid spirits will spawn around in the factory here. And you want to run into them and you will get a soul or whatever they were called. I don't really remember. I didn't get it. And I'll just leave. But you get like a wandering soul or something. I honestly don't remember what it was called. But you want to get five of those. And then you want to get five of the Wisps of Life Essence. Which, if you saw how to get Eidolon, I already told you how to get one of those. What you're going to want to do is not mutate into Gorian, you're going to want to respawn as an Ethereum that goes in the cave. Then when you're in the cave, well isn't that convenient, you want to find one of the Aralon's lures, or whatever they're called, which will, one, get you Eidolon if you didn't already have it, and two, will give you a Wisp of Life Essence. So you're going to need to run into at least five of these. As well, of course, as the Wandering Spirits to get the Soul Fragments. And then what you do with each of those five spiritual energy items. You're going to want to spawn in as someone like Spectrability, for example. 
And just for convenience sake, I would recommend keeping your crafting menu open just so you can kind of see what trees do and do not work. So basically what you want to look for is a twisted tree. This here you can see is a twisted tree. The ones that have leaves still intact are not twisted trees. And this right here as well is a twisted tree. But trees like these, which are a little more straightened and don't have nearly as many twigs coming off the top, are just another type of tree. You want to look specifically for the slightly darker and many more branches trees. Or just run around near the trees and wait for the recipe to pop up. But what you're going to need, again, five soul fragments, five wisps of life essence, and then you will craft a single enchanted lumber and then doing that will get you wander wood and that should be all for all three of the new ethereans which means we will now move on to the showcase so starting off with idlon here spawning in the cave whistleborough cave i think a lot of people already quite know who idlon is evolving into erlon at level 30 which I just now realized the little ball on Aralon's tail is exactly what spawns around the cave. That's actually a pretty nice touch. Anyways, this is Aralon, of course. Now moving on to Rabini. Couldn't think of the name for a second. So here we have Rabini. They spawn in the world tree, which I don't really understand why, but they sure do spawn here and they evolve into Rabishin at level 26 just let a T pose for a second there and then mutating in the Owl Chair at level 52 again let a T pose for a second there and last but not least we'll be moving on to Wanderwood so this here is Wanderwood, of course, spawning in the Haunted Manor, or Haunted Hills, I don't remember what it was called, but it spawns here, of course. And yeah. Doesn't have any mutations, so, you know what that means, the video is over, I got nothing else to talk about, and I will see you again later.